don't let the title fool you. It is as it is. She-Hulk team explains the fourth wall breaking finale and delivering a F you to toxic Marvel trolls. Really? Really? That was, yeah, it was an F you to Marvel fans. It was an F you to anybody that watched that pathetic show. And it was an F you to just about everything. Because it was pointless. But let's be real here. Your show's awful. And I don't want to say people like me. Because I'm not that big. I have 69 subs. Yeah, that, that, that's fun. But no, you, you have people like Gary. People like Nerd Rodic, People like The Critical Drinker. People like Geeks and Gamers. You have them on the brain constantly. They live in your head. And you had to make a over-exaggerated fake versions of them that don't even talk like them, act like them, and don't even have the same freaking complaints to put in your show as the villains because you're pathetic. And this article goes into it because there's this wonderful little line where, well, we'll get into it. <clears throat> but for the most part, this article is segmented and three different people giving questions giving responses we're gonna go over just a we're gonna go over some of the responses because some of them are just so stupid but let's go throughout she hulk attorney at law jennifer walters aka she hulk tatiana mislani repeatedly breaks the fourth wall but not only directly addressing the camera but acknowledging that she exists in the marvel studio superhero tv show in the season in the season finale pointedly titled who show is this jennifer smashes out of the show entirely jumping through the disney plus portal to confront the writers of the show about why the finale why the final is so needlessly convoluted with extraneous non non select blah, plot non sensical nonsensical plot plot lines including one about a cabal of toxic fanboys who trolled Jennifer online about being a female superhero who doesn't deserve her powers where has that argument ever come up in the internet I mean, She-Hulk was a very prominent, very popular character that people loved. Yes, she is a derivative of the Hulk. But she was her own character, and she was loved. And what you did to She-Hulk was bastardize her to just put your own politics and yourself into her, Jessica Gao. Eventually, Jennifer confronts the one in charge. No, not Marvel Studios Chief Kevin Foggy, but Kevin, or Knowledge Enhanced Visual Inter Interconnectivity Nexus, the stupidest plotline. She basically goes and sees God. Literally, she sees God. A sentient robot armed with the most advanced entertainment algorithm in the world. <sighs> As Maslani creator and head writer Jessica Gao and director and executive producer Kat Coyer, I don't know how to say that, explained to Variety, Foggy was in on the gag from the start and even helped to shape his AI avatar. They also talked about the satisfaction they felt in seeing real-life online trolls use the exact same criticism of She-Hulk. What? No, seriously, what? Because I don't, I don't remember seeing those comments. I remember them attacking the sh going, not attacking, but going through the show, picking it apart, and saying how pathetic it was. How you turned She-Hulk from a confident, strong woman who was happy with who she was to an alcoholic whore as Heel versus Baby, Baby, eh. Can't speak as heel versus baby face so lovingly puts it. <clears throat> uh, the fictional on uh, the yeah. 
and Ms. Lonnie addressed Jennifer's romance with fellow attorney Matt Murdock. What romance? Like he was wanting to get in a romantic relationship with you, but then you gave him you gave him the milk on the first date, so why marry the cow? And then on top of that, you brought him back against his will by using the power of essentially God and forced him into your sex robot for a whole week. That is what you did on the show. All we do is t all we are doing is putting a mirror up to your show and showing you what you have created. You created shit. <sighs> Fellow attorney Matt Murdock, aka Daredevil Charlie Cox. Why Gal and Keep Corio shed some light on the introduction of Scar. We're not even going to talk about that because that was a stupid line. The surprise son of Jennifer's cousin Bruce Banner and aka the Hulk. In addition to breaking the fourth wall, the final tackles some of the exact same trolling comments that Marvel fans have been making. How do how did it feel to watch that happen as the show aired, knowing how the finale would turn out? Tatiana Maslany, Jessica Cow is a genius and knows about the culture we're living in and her position in it when she's writing these stories about this woman superhero. What? You weren't a hero. You were a drunken whore, as Heel vs. Babyface so lovingly puts it, and I agree... You were not a hero. The only time you did, you, you only, you were selfish. You were a villain. You didn't care. She knows what the response is going to be. Really? Because it doesn't sound like she did. As a cast, it was delightful sending each of these trolls responses like, Oh my god, give them a week and then they'll, they're going to literally see this pop up. Verber verbatim in the show and become the villain of the show it was thrilling no well yeah yeah you know what they did nerd Roddick, hill versus babyface jeremy ryan others they all did became the villain of the show because they live rent free in your pathetic head that wasn't them who put themselves in the show that was you who put them in the show because you're pathetic. You couldn't make an actual show. You had to make your own life. You had to make your own sad, pathetic life. Were you expecting to face the trolls when you signed on to the show? Reading the script, it was true. There's so much resistance to women just existing in that space of superheroes. No. No. Before Phase 4... And before Captain Marvel, we had Black Widow, who was beloved. We had Guardians of the Galaxy, Gamora, who was beloved. We had Scarlet Witch, who needed some more character development, but was still beloved. We had characters that we loved. You bastardized them. So this article, this line here is pathetic. And also, like I said at the beginning, people loved she-Hulk, and you destroyed her to put your own identities behind her. Used her as a vessel or a vehicle to tell your own pathetic life story where you're nothing more than a sad, withered-up whore. There's always going to be that. I sort of anticipated it. it w it's why I also feel it's important. There's such an... an entitlement to space held by certain people and to even exist as she-hulk is like a <clears throat> let's see what time it is fuck you and i love that no 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 you see again we love our women in here as superheroes look let's step outside of the mcu we love wonder Wo wonder woman before 1984, we love Supergirl, before the Supergirl show. We loved Batgirl, before you're going 
actually no we're still happy that the Batgirl movie got cancelled because it was going to be awful we love these characters you are taking them and destroying them and then saying help me help me we're the victim even though you destroyed what we cared about Captain Marvel before she was Captain Marvel back when she was who she rightfully is as Miss Marvel was a really cool character she had a really good storyline involving alcoholism involving some dark themes excuse me but you guys didn't put that in her movie you guys made her the th the Mary Sue that she always you always thought she should be you don't care about these characters we do why do you hope to see from Jen and Matt Murdock's relationship? I'll just say this here because I'm not even going to bother reading this. They have no relationship. You treat him, you brought him back with the power of God to make him your sex slave. You forced him to do that. You are a toxic person. Which Avenger would Jen get along with Baby Groot? Yeah. A lot of this becomes just, these last three are just stupid. Now we're going to go on to Jessica Gao. Did Marvel give you any suggestions for the hate comments they get online? That conversation between Jen and Kevin is very much the relationship that I have with real life Kevin. And a lot of, the, a lot of that is taken from conversations I've had with him. That scene was so much longer in the script. If they had let me, I probably would have written a 10-minute conversation of my avatar arguing with Kevin. Admission. That is a freaking admission. And we knew it all along. That Jim Walters was nothing more than your pathetic attempt to tell your own sad life story. And this argument that... Oh, that conversation was dunking on the trolls. No, that was your conversation dunking on the MCU as a whole. Hating the MCU. Hating everything that we loved. You said that you would, if you didn't get this job, you would burn down the MCU. Well, you burned down the MCU even after you got the sad job. You're an awful human being, Jessica Gao. This is probably the tightest version of what it could have been. There were a couple of jabs where Kevin was like, okay, this is a little mean now. See? That whole line? That whole thing? Nobody knows what happened there. She knows what happened there. She knows that she hates Kevin Falky. She knows she hates the MCU. She hates fans. She hates the people like nerd Roddick who are getting it right she knows she hates people like jeremy who are getting it right and they hate them because they are correct and because people agree with them you are nothing more than a hate-ridden individual and i have no hate for you i think you're sad and pathetic and i pity you how did it feel to accurately predict what the trolls were would be saying you didn't that's the funny thing you didn't our writer's room opened three years ago. The fact that we were able to predict what the reaction was going to be, what a lot of the trolling comments were going to be, really shows how very tired and unoriginal these trolls are. No, you didn't even get them right. You kept saying, oh, she's a woman. She can't have these. Ignoring what our arguments were. We were saying she wasn't actually She-Hulk. We were saying you bastardized a character we loved. Really shows how time that really tickled me because the little troll that lives inside of me really loves trolling them, trolling the trolls. You didn't troll the trolls. You admitted that the YouTubers live in your head rent free. And as today is buying furniture for it. Oh, that has to be wonderful. I wonder what it's like to live rent free in a, in a head writer's head. That's sad. That, how do you, it's so stupid. Then they go on to Scar and 
apparently some character that was a vampire. Now we're going to go on to Cat Kier. Cat. We're just going to call it Cat. Uh, reaction. Did you have a dig deep? Here, we'll go into this one. Because this is the last one that I want to do. Because the rest of them are just so, so awful. Did you have to dig deep for all the Marvel criticism or just scroll through Twitter? One thing I noticed is that at the beginning of the series, I was getting a lot of nasty, mean comments. That's why you guys all blocked FNT live on air. I don't remember it was her, I, somebody else, but you guys were filled with mis were hateful, saying all men are trash and things like that. FNT was blowing you up on air and you blocked them all. That was you guys. That wasn't us. <clears throat> I was getting a lot of nasty, mean comments. Has it gone gone forward? That was that has to stop. Has it gone as it's gone forward, that has to stop. I think it's because now they realize when they target us, they're playing directly into our hands. No, when we, uh, you know, we don't target you. When we show you what you are saying and make fun of you for that, you play directly into our hands because now we are living rent-free in your pathetic heads. Your head writers at in Hollywood at the MCU, people would do almost anything for that job and you don't even care. And we called it, which is pretty gratifying. It's so satisfying, even negative commentary. I always inter, inter, interpret, uh, can't read, as engagement. If people are that angry, they're p paying attention. I look at it as, as if it's uh, basically positive. She looks at it as positive. But you know it's not because you hate us. You hate us. You don't hate us because we're us. You hate us because people agree with us. You hate us because your show sucks. You hate us because we're vocalizing why people hate this show. And people are starting to quit watching it. We're watching it. Actually, no. Correction. I had to dip out of three episodes. I came back for that finale because I thought, can't be that awful. I was shocked at how bad you created a show. And I'll also say this, I thought Rings of Power was gonna be better after that. And Rings of Power was awful. Actually, I still think the Rings of Power ending was better than this. And I hate the Rings of Power. You got rid of every plot line in the end. You made your show pointless and sad and you had youtubers on the mind forever grow up with that if you like the video give a thumbs up share it out with your, all your friends leave a comment down below subscribe to all the links subscribe to the channel hit that bell for notifications i keep forgetting to say that and bye for now